Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, well, the wave of publicity goes on. Just got off the line with Polish TV uh, for an interview for something they're putting together for TVP, the national channel. So um, if you're in Poland, um, well, we'll try and let you know when it's going to be on if they tell us. Um, who knows? So coming back to the the uh, content um patreon thank you so much we're seeing a real boost in people joining our patreon site that's brilliant we're we're very pleased indeed if uh if you think you're it's worth it and we are trying to make enough content to make it worth joining patreon uh we have a video coming up later in the week um from christoph seliger setting a puzzle which will be very interesting for you to see so, as for today's bonus content, we're looking at an anti-night puzzle. Simple as that. Sent in to us by Ben Normoyle. So, classic rules apply, and no two identical digits can be a knight's move apart. So, for instance, this cell up here can't be a five, because that would be a chess knight's move away from five. Um, the cells that can't be... The same as this cell would be here, 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 and here, for instance. And uh, that is how the knight's move restriction works. So let's get cracking. And first thing I notice is a very interesting run, a stripe, if you like, of different digits in different columns down the center. So. These can't be 1, 2, and 3. These must be 1, 2, and 3. And we can tell that this one's where the 2 goes because of the 1 and 3 in its row. So 1 and 3 go there. These ones are 7, 8, and 9. And again, we can extend that up the top. Actually, we could do a lot better. This 6 is seeing both of these cells. It's a traditional knight's move thing that where a where a number looks into another box, it can often see two cells. So it's this one by regular Sudoku and this one by Knight's Move. So the only place for a six in this column is here. Five sees that cell, so we can sort out the four five as well. Um, I mean, we can do all these stripes up the middle boxes. This is seven, eight, or nine. The middle one can't be seven. This is one, two, and three. In fact, that and that can't be three because again, of that three and a knight's move, this one is seen by that, so we can fill in two and one. Seven, eight, nine here, oops, in the wrong font. Now that can't be nine and that can't be seven because of ordinary Sudoku. Four, five, six here, but we can place the four because of that. And this sees that cell, so four is there. Don't think we can split up the five and six but loads of candidates and fill-ins already. Now, five across the middle, one of these must be five. Ah, oh, seven has to be in column nine in one of those two. That one is covered by a knight's move. Three, three is ruled out of all of those cells, so it must be in one of those. Ah, oh, and that means we can place a three up here. Again, those two are ruling out those cells. That one's ruling out that. And these two are ruling out those. So we can place a three at the top. Six must be over there somewhere. Oh, look at one. That's quite nice up here. That's ruling out those and that. This one is taking out all of those. So one is confined to column one there. Um, well, that keeps it down to two cells in box seven. Six, ah, six in row four. Should have seen this a while ago. Six there rules out those three. Six there rules out those two. This six rules out those two, which is nice. So we can put a, a definite six in here. That's turned this three possibility into a three six pair because six there and there, put six here. Ah, and okay, oh, look at that. One and two are both seeing these two cells. That's very neat. So we know that one and two go here. In fact, the two is looking at that cell, so we can place one and two. These two are eight and five. That's nice, one, five, eight, three, six, seven. So two, 
Ah, no, four in this column. Where can four go? This four is seeing that cell. This four is seeing that one. So that is the only cell remaining for four. Um, ah, these other two can both be two or nine as far as I can see at the moment. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a two in that box. So bam, that is done. Two, three, four, six. Right, nine now is in one of those two cells. Seven, five. This one could be one or eight. I can't see a reason to rule out either yet. How about up here? Ah, oh, four. We can place that just by normal Sudoku. Um, but five's in one of those two. Let's put them in full, actually. Um, one is in one of those two, and eight could be in anything, because we haven't got a lot of eights going. Ah, no, eight cannot be here, because all of these three cells, which could be eight, see this. Two of them by night's move, and one of them not, so that can't be eight. This isn't one, so it's five or eight. This isn't five, so it's one or eight, but still that's a triple that I can't quite disambiguate yet. Let's have a look up the top. Okay, four in one of those two. Two, ah, two also in one of those two. This two and this four are both seeing this cell. So two and four up here have to be in that pair of cells. This can't be nine. Ah, oh, this nine has actually knocked nine out of both that cell and that cell. So we now know where the nine is in box two. That gives us a nine in one of those two. Two, four, three, seven though. Five, what about five up here? It's ruled out of those and that. This five takes it out of that. Still two possibilities left for five, surprisingly. Um, and seven, uh, three possibilities for seven. Does that mean this has got to be an eight? Is this a naked single? It is. You, it's a knight's move, naked single. Three, one, six, four, nine, seven, two, and a five looking at it. So that is an eight. This, I think, is effectively naked too. Eight, three, four, nine, seven, two in the row, five in the column, one up here. That's a six. So doing the pencil marking really helped there, but I think that's as far as we got. These five, one, seven, and nine can't be fully resolved yet unless I'm missing something. Now, four, ah yes, four in row four has to be here. That cell is seen by this one. It's great how the, and that sorts out the two, four up here. It's great how the knight's move restriction works. It really is entertaining. And I think I've finished off fours now. Two has to be in, ah, look at that. This two is ruling out those. This one is ruling out that. And this one suddenly looks in and rules out that one. So we can put a two in there. That finishes off twos. Okay, two, five, one, four, six. Three is in one of those two because of the moves by Knight's move of that one. Hmm, eight's ruled out of that, but seven and nine aren't exactly fixed by anything there. Now one, okay, that one has ruled that one out. So elimination just seems to be working perfectly well on this puzzle. Now three, that three is seeing all of those cells. So three is restricted here, lovely. That removes that three possibility and forces the three in box four. That looks across and sees the one three pair. Hmm. Nine must be down in one of these two. Because it can't be here. Ooh. Oh, look, this is important. These five and six possibility. Now, just as we saw that that nine was looking at those two cells and therefore forced a nine in here, down here, this cell is looking at both of those. So this can't be five, because five has to be in one of these two. So this is five instead. Um, that eight gives us the five here. 
That can't be five. So what have we got in this cell? In this box, I mean. Hmm, still various possibilities for eight, one, seven, and nine. Ah, oh, no, that five's looking up here. That sorts out this triple. Lovely. That's finished box two. First box fully finished. And a row fully finished now. And another one. One and nine. We can do all of that. So the top three boxes are all done. Seven, eight, and nine. So one of those is a nine. Four, three, two, six, five. This is eight to finish the column. One here is the only place it can go. Nine and seven in these two. Let's take out the corner markings. Ah, yes, that nine is looking at it. I thought there might be something. Sorting that out. Now, this can't be eight. This can't be seven. And this can't be nine. But I don't think anything else is resolving those. And these three and six, they're not seen by any chess moves either. Okay, so we're going to have to come back there. This, though, is seen by nine, so that's an eight. That sorts out this whole triple in the middle. And I think this is just coming. I mean, this has been a fairly... As long as you approached it in the right way, I think this has been a fairly straightforward puzzle. I'd be interested to see in the comments if a few people found this a bit stickier than that. Um, I think our tester didn't think it was a very easy one. I mean, I'm not saying it's a very easy one. I'm saying it's gone quite well on this solve, but solves can be different. Ah, oh, now look at this finish. We've got a three, six pair over here and a three, six pair over here. Now we worked out that none of these are seen by Knight's moves. So these must be, and there it is, one of the original givens, a six looking at that to finish off the puzzle. And there we go, pretty straightforward. Nice untaxing fare, I hope, for a Sunday, but we'll see how you got on with it. Thanks very much to Ben for being a fan of the channel and coming up with this puzzle and sending it in to us. And uh, do stay safe out there. Nice to see you again and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.